What's going on guys? Apathetic here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between. And today, I'm here to answer the question, is Hunter overpowered as a class? Let's get into it. So lately I've been playing a lot of Hunter, and for those of you that don't know, I'm typically a Warlock main. So I decided to change it up and give Hunter a go, and man, I'm not gonna lie guys, Hunter is very fun, it's been a nice change up from playing Warlock all the time, but it wasn't just the change itself that made Hunter so fun, it was something else. It was the fact that each game I noticed my KDA was usually higher than 3.0 most of the time. I wasn't getting more kills necessarily, but I was just dying less. This led me to really analyze what about Hunter is allowing me to stay alive longer, and I've come up with a couple of things that give Hunters an advantage over other classes that people I think maybe don't realize or take for granted. The first thing and probably the most obvious is the Hunter's class ability or his dodge, and more specifically Gambler's dodge, which allows you to dodge enemy attacks. Now there's a couple of things we need to talk about when discussing this dodge. The first thing is, because of this dodge, I was able to play so much more carefree as a player in Destiny 2. What I mean by that is typically when you play other classes, you have to hug walls a little more and be hyper aware of your positioning in relation to other players on the map. The reason that's important is because if you start losing a gunfight, start getting team shot, or you suddenly get shot in the back, your good positioning and map awareness will allow you to have a chance to get out of some situations where maybe we got caught off guard. But note that I say a chance. Now with Hunter, and specifically Hunter's dodge, you don't have to worry about those things quite as much. Because a Hunter's dodge is a mistake eraser, a get out of jail free card if you will. It allows you to play a little more carelessly as a player because you know, if I slide out and see two people, I have an ability that will allow me to double back and get back around the corner faster while simultaneously removing any aim assist and reducing the amount of damage I take. That's a big deal. While playing Hunter, I had situations where I knew if I was on my Warlock or Titan, I would have died and should have died. But as I began using my dodge more and implementing it more in my game and basically realizing that I had it, it allowed me to take more chances and do things the other classes can't do because it centers around their mobility on a class that is already very fast to begin with. The other thing to keep in mind is the Hunter dodge can also be used offensively. When fighting an opponent, I can slide in, dodge backwards, and shotgun someone all in one quick motion, especially if my shotgun has quick draw. The reason this is powerful is I'm sliding in to close the gap, dodging and reducing my damage intake, temporarily removing aim assist, and typically your opponent fires their shotgun at you and it does very little, and this creates a space where now you're in close proximity, you've baited someone's first shotgun shot, we know our dodge can allow us to make someone miss, or if they do hit us, it won't do quite as much. And once we come out of dodge, we can quickly secure a kill because your enemy's second shotgun shot will often not be ready yet. Now that typically is mastered by some of the better players I've played, and it's a move that I consider more impressive than annoying, but hunters are the only class that has the ability to do something like that that is built into their class. The Hunter class ability overall makes it a much more forgiving class to play. The next thing that makes Hunter a popular or strong class, and you knew this was coming, and that's the Hunter Jump. The Hunter Jump is probably the easiest jump to learn out of all the classes, simply because it's similar to a lot of games, so naturally it's going to feel more familiar and be easier or quicker to adjust and adapt to. The other thing we need to keep in mind with the Hunter Jump is that it's harder to mess up the Hunter Jump than it is to mess up Warlock or Titan skating. I, can, I can't tell you guys how many times I've personally or seen people mess up their skating or accidentally start floating when in an intense engagement and all it takes is one too many button presses and then suddenly you're this easy floating target. With Hunter, since the jump is used a lot yet less, it's a little bit harder to mess up. But also, depending on your jump you're using, if I misclick or press something, it's a lot easier to recover from than compared to when you're stuck floating on Titan or Warlock. The other piece of having a jump that's harder to mess up and easier to control is it allows you to make more calculated plays. For example, if I'm being pushed through the doorway, I can get vertical a lot faster and easier than a Warlock or Titan, and I have a lot more control over how I'm jumping over that door. Yes, Warlocks and Titans can float over a doorway, but their movement is a lot more predictable since they are floating and are typically going to be floating in one spot. 
The last thing and probably the most important is a hunter's jump allows you to create space and misdirection in the moment and this ties in with their dodge. A hunter can run up to you, dodge, and then suddenly jump backwards and shotgun you all within a second or two. This creates space and misdirection in the engagement. It can make the hunter very hard to track. It makes it harder for all your shots to connect depending on the weapon you're using. And it's going to help increase the chance that as a hunter, I'm taking as little damage as possible in the engagement. Overall, do I think hunters are overpowered? I don't think I would go that far. Hunters definitely have some things like the dodge and their jump that makes it more forgiving and familiar class to play, but I wouldn't go so far to call them overpowered, but it does make sense why there are so many hunters in the Crucible. I would say playing Hunter recently has made me realize that every class has something annoying that they do, and at the end of the day, you should play whatever class you want no matter what people say, and I just play it and just play the class you enjoy. Honestly, because everybody's going to say, like, if I'm Warlock, I'm always going to complain about Hunters. Even when I was playing Hunter, funny enough, I was like, stupid Warlocks. I caught myself saying that a couple of times because of Celestial Fire. Like I said, every class has their thing. But let me know in the comments below if you think Hunters are overpowered. And with that, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This is a free way to support me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wow.